Welcome back to Living Local. We all know the village of East Davenport as a charming neighborly area. Brew is a cafe and lounge in the East Village, a cozy spot that combines food, drinks, and great company. Joining me in studio is Tracy Cameron. She is the manager and the owner of Brew in the Village. Thanks so much for being here, Tracy. Thank you very much for inviting me. Super excited. Brew is one of my personal favorite spots in the East Village of Davenport. So tell us a little bit about Brew for maybe for people who have never been there. Brew is a really cute uh, neighborhood bistro. It's got a wonderful craft beer list, and most of our craft beer is local, which is neat. Most of it's within 100 miles of us. Um, it's got a nice wine list, and a lot of really wonderful food comes out of our super, super tiny mm -hmm. uh, open kitchen. So lots of good snacks, good wine, good friends. It's a good place to come. Tracy, how did you get involved with Brew? Um, I came on board because the, the majority owner, uh, he knew me from a different restaurant. Mm -hmm. We've been friends a long time anyway. And when he was talking about buying it, he said, hey, come look at this and come, you know, come get involved with this. And I thought he was not at start. <laughs> I did. But I just love it there. Yeah. I just love it. It's close to home for both of us. And it's full of wonderful people. Every day my day is different and it's exciting. And Tracy, I was actually just at Brew last night and had a couple <laughs> glasses of an Avalon cab, which I absolutely love. But you um, are treating me this morning and you brought a different type of cab. So describe the cab that you brought. Well, this is Duckhorn Decoy. Mm -hmm. It is a classically yummy cab. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it hits all the standard marks for me for a great glass of cab. Cheers, Cheers. Tracy. Let me try this for the first time. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> it's good. so smooth. <laughs> I oh, know. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So in addition to the beverages that you guys offer, sure. uh, you have some really great menu items as well. You brought some examples today, so walk us through them. All right, I brought a couple of our biggest sellers, mm -hmm. the things that, that we move the most of. This is our brew board. It's a charcuterie board with uh, three different kinds of cheese. The cheese is really neat because it comes from Cinnamon Farms, which is right down in DeWitt. So cool. So locally sourced cheese, it's got hummus, a few different kinds of meat, um, honey and nuts and berries, served with crostini. It's just the perfect thing. If you're, if you're splitting a bottle of wine and you want to nosh on something, this is the answer right here. Cannot I, say no to good wine and a no, good charcuterie this board. Is, that's <laughs> a sweet spot right it there. It seriously is. And you get all the different flavors and a bunch of different textures you in do. one uh, appetizer. It, it's wonderful. <laughs> and this is our giant pretzel, which once we sell one, we sell like four afterwards. Because if someone sees it, they're like, <laughs> I want that. I know, because it's so good. And it comes with a cranberry mustard, mm. a spicy mustard, and our house-made beer cheese. And the, actually, the pretzel is locally sourced. <laughs> Mama Basso's huh. makes all of our bread. And then they make wonderful bread. They make wonderful pizza, but wonderful bread. They make those pretzels for us. And Tracy, I just love the display too. I, I generally don't see the pretzels. They're usually just like laying flat, but it, it gives it more justice when it's displayed <laughs> so royally. It like looks that. great, doesn't it? Really it really does. So <laughs> I've actually had both of those delicious the wine delicious, and it's in a really cool building. So yeah. walk us through the historical significance of the building that Brew is in. The building that we're in is the neatest. Um, it's old brick walls, but it is the longest running, longest continuous running saloon in Davenport. Wow. They actually had a, a speakeasy in the basement during Prohibition down there, and there has been some type of a, of a saloon in that building uh, for the longest time, wow. so it's really neat. The building itself used to be a blacksmith shop, huh. and it's still owned by the Boiler family. It was Boiler's blacksmith shop, and the Boilers still own the building, and they still have the blacksmith stuff on the wall. So there's horseshoes, and the old stump that the anvil used to be on, well, it's a million years old, and that stump is still there, and it's just really charming inside. Yeah, I love that you guys have kept and preserved that historical significance. It's a really cool addition to a dining experience. <laughs> and in addition to the dining experience, you guys actually host a lot of types of events. What cool things do you guys have going on? Well, this weekend in specific, we've got the Christmas walk, mm -hmm. and this is just such fun. It's family friendly. There's carolers down at Lagos. We've got carolers at Brew tonight. 
We, the Santa Claus is at the firehouse, and he rides in usually on the fire truck, <gasps> which is so cute. Bet the kids love that. They do. <laughs> they do. There's trolley rides. Scrooge berates people from oh, the patio lovely. right in front of Brew, <laughs> which is awesome. I love Scrooge it. is a meanie <laughs> from up there. <laughs> but it's just wonderful. Jack Frost runs around. The village is decorated. All the businesses are open and in the Christmas spirit. It's a great family fun thing to do and it's tonight and tomorrow night. Wonderful. Then we've got a lot of other things going on in December. We do a wine pairing once yeah. a month and that is we take a guest chef. So we we have Chef Reese McRae and he is cooking dinner on Monday. Mm -hmm. It's five courses paired with five wines and they're really really popular. We can only seat 40 people mm -hmm. so the first 40 reservations get in. December is booked, but January is open All if right. you want to try it. Absolutely. <laughs> it's good stuff. We do private parties. Mm -hmm. um, depending on how big your office is, we can close the whole place down for you or just section off a piece. And, um, and we do philosophy pub. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I thought this was the neatest idea. Mm. It's the philosophy department uh, from one of the local schools. Mm -hmm. And they come in and they choose a philosophical subject and someone will lecture on it for a little while and then they open the floor up for discussion. Huh. And so they all kind of hang out, they drink craft beer, yeah. they eat a little food and they, s they talk about philosophy. That's usually the last Monday night of the month. Tracy, that sounds like a really neat experience. It's very cool. <laughs> I'll have to check that out for sure. How do you think that brew adds to the charm of the village of East Davenport? Oh, I just love it for the fact that it's a little bit different. That what we serve for food is mm -hmm. a little bit different. We have a super patio, mm -hmm. which, of course, now. <laughs> I love it in the summertime. <laughs> I was there so frequently. Nice. I soaked it up in the summertime. It's so nice in mm -hmm. the summer. But our patio is spectacular. and. The food is a little bit different. Yeah. I mean, everybody in the village is serving a little bit different style of food. And so we have our own spin on it. And I just think we're as cute as we can be. I could not agree more. <laughs> Tracy, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Thanks for having me. If you would like some more information on Brew, you can visit brewinthevillage.com. We'll also have those details posted on ourquadcities.com. Stick around. More Living Local is next.